And I, I don't really think it's reversible at this moment. What about Microsoft? I mean, that's the juggernaut now. Right. And it's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a kind of a, you know, Ford LTD going into the, into the future. It's definitely not a Cadillac, it's not a BMW. It's, it's just, you know, what, what's going on there? How do those guys do that? Well, Microsoft's orbit was made possible by a Saturn V booster called IBM. Uh, I know Bill would get upset with me for saying this, but of course it was true. And um, much to Bill and Microsoft's credit, they used that fantastic opportunity to create more opportunity for themselves. Uh, most people don't remember, but in 19, until 1984 with the Mac, Microsoft was not in the applications business. It was dominated by Lotus. And Microsoft took a big gamble to write for the Mac. And they came out with applications that were terrible. But they kept at it, and they made them better, and eventually they dominated the Macintosh application market and then used the springboard of Windows to get into the PC market with those same applications. And now they dominate the applications in the PC space too. So they have two characteristics. I think they're very strong opportunists. And I don't mean that in a bad way. And two, they're like the Japanese. They just keep on coming. Now they were able to do that because of the revenue stream from the IBM team. Uh, but nonetheless, they, they made the most of it, and I, I give them a lot of credit for that. The only problem with Microsoft is they just have no taste. They have absolutely no taste, and, and, and what that means is, that I don't mean that in a small way, I mean that in a big way, in the sense that they, they don't think of original ideas, and they don't bring much culture into their product. You say, well, why is that? Well, you know, proportionally spaced fonts and typesetting and the books, that's where one gets the idea. If it weren't for the Mac, they would never have that in their products. Um, and so I, I guess I am saddened, not by Microsoft's success. I have no problem with their success. They've earned their success for the most part. I have a problem with the fact that they just make really third-rate products. Their products have no spirit. Their products have no in sort of spirit and life about them. They are very close. And the sad part is, is that most